Hey guys, welcome back. This is the MMA Breakdown. Doing one prediction today for the Mizuto Hirota versus Teruto Ishihara fight uh, taking place on the UFC Fight Night Barnett versus Nelson card. This is the finale from Road to UFC Japan, the TV show. And I already did a full predictions video for the rest of the fights on this card. You can check that video out to see my other predictions. I'm doing this uh, the Friday night before the event. And I know a lot of you probably won't get a chance to see this. But I just want to get uh, the video out there. Get my pick on record. Um, and I think when I did my predictions for the original video. Uh, they had already released... Uh, they had already revealed that Hirota was going to be the one fighting in the finale, um, not his opponent. And then uh, I think earlier this week or last week, um, they announced Ishihara was in the finale. Uh, and I wanted to wait until the final episodes aired so that I could uh, watch the fights and have some more uh, a better analysis to give. But first of all who gives a fuck about this fight I know none of you guys watch, even watch this show um, you know I watched it but uh, like I mentioned in my initial video uh, this is the first season of tough well it's not a tough season but um, still and actually I, w I do uh, much rather prefer that they do this uh, just a quick eight man tournament if they're going to continue to do this and go to different countries um, I much uh, rather prefer this style than uh, a full uh, tough season with um, whatever 16 guys or uh, more guys. I think the eight man tournament worked well, uh, but the talent on the show was just horrible. Um, you know, some of the lowest level MMA you'll ever see. Uh, so. No one really gives a fuck about this fight. Um, I really don't. And more than that, uh, Mizuto Hirota, why are you going to have a TV show uh, like Tough just to bring in a retread from the UFC, a guy who was already kicked out because he, he wasn't good enough, he didn't cut it? Um, I don't know, that's really weird to me. Uh, he, but he did clearly have an advantage over everyone on the show uh, you, know, you, you could just tell he was a far more experienced fighter and had an effective ground game and last thing before I get uh, into the prediction um, I thought it was some uh, serious bullshit that Ishihara got uh, that decision win over Wiki in the uh, semifinals and I'd like to start a uh, hashtag um, or a movement on Twitter, hashtag Where's Wiki. Um, I think the UFC should uh, bring that guy back. I thought he was, uh, other than Hirota, head and shoulders above everyone. He was the only one to get a finish on the show. And, um, you know, probably wouldn't have uh, done much in the UFC of significance. But, uh, you know, he had the pink hair. He was a fun guy to watch, had a knockout. Uh, that's a guy that uh, I want to get out of this show and um, you know I want to see him get his shot in the UFC not a guy who was already kicked out because uh, you know he wasn't good enough uh, and I did think he won that fight um, but anyways uh, where's Wiki I hope uh, I hope he gets a shot one day in the UFC I uh, really liked his uh, first fight in the, in the on the show getting a knockout but anyways, um, I've uh, rambled on too long. Mizuto Hirota versus Teruto Ishihara. Uh, definitely going with Hirota. I don't think uh, there's really any debate about this. Hirota, longtime veteran. Ishihara, I think, is only 24. Hirota, I think, uh, is in his mid-30s. And Hirota... Like I said already, was in the UFC at two fights, lost to Hani Yaya, although he did uh, lock up an armbar, I think, uh, briefly on him in their fight. I remember that. Uh, but lost to Yaya and lost to Rodrigo Dam. Uh, 
and then I haven't followed his career at all outside of the UFC. Uh, but on the show, Road to UFC Japan, um, won both his fights. And uh, again, like I mentioned, you could just tell he, you know, he's a more refined fighter, uh, more effective. He has a he has an effective ground game. Uh, you know, doesn't really dominate guys there, but can get on top of them and get off some ground and pound. Doesn't really threaten with submissions. And uh, his his on the feet, uh, I don't think he's very good. In his second fight, uh, he let his hands go, but he also got tagged a few times uh, by his opponent. Um, and, you know, as far as I know, the guys he was fighting were scrubs, and he couldn't even put them away. So... Uh, not real high on the guy, but uh, you know he was able to impose his ground game, and uh, I think he'll be able to do that all day here against Ishihara, um, get him to the ground and control him. Uh, Ishihara did not impress me at all in either of his fights. This guy just looks like a young, wild, very sloppy fighter with really no refined skills. Um, his first fight, I can't even remember who he fought, but. Um, it wasn't memorable to me at all, just kind of a back and forth, uh, sloppy affair. Um, I think he won on takedowns, if I remember correctly, but then the second fight against Wiki, uh, I didn't think he won at all. The, the first round, Wiki was able to get uh, a crucifix position on the ground, uh, you know, got off some ground and pound, and uh, dominated uh, with position, and then. Uh, Second round was closer. I think Ishihara got a takedown in there. Uh, third round, I didn't think uh, he won that. I thought uh, Wiki landed, landed more. Um, and really, I can't uh, break his game down anymore other than saying that he looks like a sloppy striker and a sloppy grappler. Uh, you know, didn't look like he, he got takedowns with a lot of ease. And... Um, his striking just looks very unrefined. Uh, wild and pushes a good pace, and you know Hirota seems to be a slow starter, and he can be hit on the feet. Um, but I think Hirota uh, will just have a huge skill advantage, um, even though I don't think he's a very high-level fighter himself. Uh, I don't think anything's going to stop him from uh, getting the takedown and just uh, laying on him. And also, I think his boxing, uh, if he lets his hands go, I think he does have uh, the better boxing. So, Hirota all the way. Um, decision or submission, uh, I think if he gets him on the ground, starts working him over, um, he can really expose Ishihara there. Uh, you know, he, he has good control on the ground. Uh, so, I think I'll go with the submission, but... Um, I don't know. Hirota's not uh, doesn't uh, really come off to me as a, a dangerous fighter. I mean, he didn't finish either one of his fights on the show, and one guy uh, pushed him a little bit, uh, and you know those were scrubs as far as I could tell. So uh, not real high on the guy. Um, but anyways, that's my prediction uh, for the Mizuto, Mizuto Hirota versus Teruto Ishihara fight. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video, comment, and subscribe. Check out my UFC 192 predictions, and I'll be back soon with my predictions for UFC Fight Night Duffy versus Poirier. Thank you guys. Bye.